Megan my channel and now I'm going to watch Fate Stay Night Unlimited Bad Works A Bridge Episode 7 Water Over the Bridge So let's check it out You live here? We don't ever see you around Of course not! Someone's gotta be out prowling the streets at night Thwarting murderers and grading papers simultaneously You know I halfway believe you when you say something <laughs> I miss your voice <laughs> Anyway from 6pm tonight to a week from now You can enjoy your debt! You guys ready to get busy in the city? I don't trust any of this. <laughs> Harriet's voice is so funny. Hey, hey, Kitty Sigu. Long time no see. Well, guess what, old guy? Your son's going on a date today. Looks like he's a real lady killer. Just hey, like not this background kid. music. <laughs> but just like his old man, I mean... Well, instead of lounging around all day, like, he goes on dates. <laughs> oh, and instead of going away for months and not saying where he's going, he does the opposite. Oh, 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 you know that thing where you like to sit and stare at the moon all the time like that was an actual hobby? Actual <laughs> 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 hobby! <laughs> but instead of the moon, it's girls. And instead of staring at them, he talks to them, and he also makes friends that aren't the moon. But you both have the same last name legally, so that's something. Ah, oh, well, anyways, just wanted to come by and say hi. Your son's going out with two girls. Probably the most exciting thing that's gonna happen today. Uh, oh, yeah, the geez, most exciting thing. date. Oh, there's another thing you have in common romantic promises not working out. Okay, that's Castor. <laughs> we are! Hope y'all brought your wallets and big carrying arms. I'm not normally one to enforce gender roles or anything, Chiro. So, when I say you're gonna be carrying all our stuff, I hope you know it's not because you're a guy. It's because you're Shiro Emiya. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> What's it mean? Hey, a saber! It looks like Shiro doesn't want to help us carry our things. You cool to carry everything? I have the strength of 60 men. Carrying my own bags would make the most sense. I'll do it! I'll carry the bags! Oh, shucks. And it looks he's like being competitive with Saber. my wallet. I guess I won't be able to... That's whatever I got. This will pay for everything. I'll sell my blood if need be. And it's kind of cold. Do you need a jacket? I can buy you a jacket. We can sell my house to acquire you a surplus of jackets. <laughs> <laughs> it's too exaggerating. Uh, this is going to be fun. You are so deliciously broken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Rin, uh, Rin did that on purpose. <laughs> I appreciate you. What do you think? Pretty marketing. Okay, this is another best cafe team. From whatever you're up to, it's not gonna work. Are you planning to kill me? Is this the last meal situation? Are you telling me you would pay fifteen dollars plus shipping to see Baber in glasses? If you're not willing to pay fifteen dollars plus shipping for this, I don't know you. Rain, you're being weird. It, you know what, Emia? The point of today was to chill out. And relax, so why don't you stop being a Mr. What's Your Big Evil Skinny McGrumpy Pants and just relax? <laughs> Relaxing, calm! Yes, oh my god, Rain of Bridge is so savage! You gotta loosen up a bit, Saber. It's not like you're swinging a broadsword. Gee, sorry, am I swinging it wrong? Maybe I should take a leaf out of your book and start swinging around too bad like a lunatic! Cause that would be more efficient, right? Whoa, someone's competitive. You don't rule countries by losing at the batting cages! And Saber is so pissed off because... Here, yeah, Rin won in this batting stuff. I think we can all agree that we all, you just throw yourself at every problem you see in front of you and stare wistfully off into the sky and baber eat every sandwich within a 100 foot radius. I was gonna say we should make out a bunch. <laughs> Is it but just keep eating sandwich? Thing, but that's probably a better idea. Well, the more natural one anyways. And as for me... Oh man, what a great date we're having. I'm so glad we left Archer at home and came here without any defenses on this Real date we're having, Master. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's saying that out loud. System saber. This date that Baber and I are on is so romantic. If someone spoiled it before the big kiss or whatever, that'd be the most villainous thing. Is it possible she saw through my plan? 
this is crazy, but now that I actually know what your crazy plan is, I'm actually kind of enjoying myself. It's really fun seeing you let loose when there's context. Hey, how about you shut your dumb word mouth before I heckin' punch it? Punch it! <laughs> if we run out of sandwiches, should I start acquiring the sandwiches of other people in the park? I'm not normally a thief, but if it's for the cause and sandwiches... Oh, seriously? Saber is going to do that? <laughs> Called for an overwhelming chance of rain, Reen. Reen doesn't strike me as the type to listen to the forecast, Master. Aw, oh, look at you, Faber. You know me so well. And you haven't once used out of date slang today. It's like you finally found your footing here. Indeed. It seems I finally acclimated properly. Hey, guys. Why is the water level rising over the. Yeah! What's happening? We're in a thousand field! I did it! My Okay. Yes. <laughs> they are cards, right? We can still get the drop on her. I'm going to steer into my lack of mage knowledge and just ask, what's going on here? It's a bounded field, creating a temporary parallel version of the bridge. We're isolated from the outside in here. <laughs> and let me take a wild guess that Harcher can't reach us here. Great so legal eyes. I guess Caster figured out how to thwart him when Ryder attacked the school. Well, if her intention is to kill us by dampening our clothes, then she is certainly. Ha! That answers that! Oh. You are to chop away, lover. Our castle is coming. Go ahead and shock your heart to content, children. No matter how many you blast or strike or slice, my soldiers here are as endless as the elements I've made them. I've got to admit, this is a creative, if not questionable, way to use your golems. You're going to run out of mana eventually, Caster. Oh, goodness. Did you not really? Where did that sweet red-headed master of yours just not tell you? What? Oh, damn it. Of course. What? The whole soil mountain do mana thing. Say words I know, please. I might as well have infinite magical energy. And that's not all I have. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Taiga. Miss Fujimura! How formal of you. Please call her Taiga. After all, I watch both the school and you closely. I know that she's not only your teacher, but also a close friend of yours who visits, lives at your home. Why, I even wager you see her as something of a mother or a big sister. It seems cold not to call her by her name, doesn't it, sweet boy? You put her down, or I will soar up there and rip you apart! Also, did you know she was your dad's girlfriend or something? <laughs> I got weird mixed signals when she was talking at his grave. Your whole family is strange. I'm guessing you want Shiro to give up Baber. Normally a master would never be convinced to give up their servant, but... You probably picked up on Shiro's peculiar quality. I suspect peculiar he quality. <laughs> reinforced it when he questioned me before. And finally, you yourself confirmed it for me today. Aha! I so knew you were watching! My plan worked. <laughs> well, Caster, if that is your real container, it might please you to know that I only made such a show of pointing that out so that you would put yourself in this exact Compromising situation! Shiro might be unable to blow through innocence, but Archer and I aren't so kind. That's why I secretly had to super close to me the entire day. Time to act, Archer! Attack! Attack! <laughs> it's useless! Archer deploy! One second, please. Archer, where are you? What are you doing? I am trying to get in without alerting. <laughs> Until the bus started driving, and then you disappeared. I assume you're not. <laughs> you know I know where every servant is at all times. Don't you? Ah, oh, heck. Well, it's so in this average fashion that um, Azar can communicate with the real. Take them. No! I haven't even had to say what I want, and you're already giving in. I love it when children behave themselves. Saber, I'm... I'm sorry. Shiro, you have to stop and think. If you have to trade my life for Taiga's, I understand in principle, but we have to think of how to resolve this without giving her what she wants. I guess he's right about me, isn't he? When faced with a situation more complicated than just protecting one person, I... 
I guess I don't know what to do. Give me a play by play. Is Shiro having a breakdown? He is, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> She's doing what? And who is there? And why? What in the world is going on? <laughs> I also heard that voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop Archer from killing you. If you treat Daver, we are done professionally. Shut up! This is the only thing I can think of doing. How else can I save the most people possible? So just take them already. Then, as soon as you do, I'll find a way to destroy you and take Saber back. I swear it. I will save them both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was it you said earlier? Stay still so I can soar down there and rip you apart. I won't be traded like that. <laughs> Saber, you're putting Taiga in danger! You have to stop! Saber, wait! No! Did you just command seal her? They did what? I don't even know who you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Rin and Arthur are so funny! <laughs> I did it! Saber's command seal's contract and heart belong to me! Behold, children, this is my noble phantasm, Rule Breaker. With it, I can nullify rituals, contracts, spells, and all forms of sorcery. It also allows me to steal the contracts that bind servants themselves. I... I thought you'd take my arm and Saber would be free! <laughs> that she could make a contract with Reen or something! I... I assumed... Never assume anything! <laughs> <laughs> now all that remains is to decide how to play with my new toy. Oh wait, there's an idea. Sh Shiro. Well, why? He did what you asked him to. Life's a bitch that way. <laughs> Finish him, lover. Don't do it too quickly, though. Let me hear them scream as their former ally slowly opens up their bodies and literally tears out the hearts you've crushed. Make your mistress proud. Try to avoid the king's... That's a signal! Let's move, let's move! All right. Saber has magic resistance and command seals are magic. Lesson learned. Do you remember our promise, Medea? Huh? That thing about projectiles! No! Why do you always have to stick your nose in my business at the worst possible time? Next time, I'm just gonna stick to swords! Finally! Less yelling, more escaping certain death, please. I'll be doing both, thank you very much. But Tosaka... We have to help Saber. Don't you even speak her name, you Neanderthal. I'm only saving you so I can kill you later. I'm running away, little bitch. I guess I win the contest for lover's heart. Win the contest for lover's hmm. heart. She's outside the field. She can't hear me. But I bet she knows. She knows. Let's return home and get better acquainted. Is the yelling going to be ending anytime soon, Reen? What? <laughs> Reen keeps yelling like that. I can actually, answer that, cause I could give you a whole dissertation on the subject. Can you put your hate boner for Shiro away for one second and focus on my hate boner for Shiro? Can you do that for me for one second? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Real quick though, we do have him just sleeping upstairs right now. I could just pop up there and. You and know. what? <laughs> That's another thing! Why did his inhuman healing factor suddenly stop working? He was fucking Wolverine yesterday! With that saber around, Avalon has probably become inert. What? I said I don't know. Avalon <laughs> become inert. You could say his magic's finally as broken as his stupid dream. What did I say about that hate boner? I'm putting it away. It's going away. Heaven forbid one of us have fun. Alright. So let's go over what we know. We've 
got a plan for Operation Vapor Saver. Article 1. Castor has a magic dagger that can steal servant contracts and command seals. Article 2. Vapor has high-ranking magic resistance, so she can hold off Castor for a little while. That gives us time to counterattack. Article 1, subsection A. How did that dagger work? Did she just stab Saber and it stole her? Article 3. She's gathering ridiculous amounts of mana to defeat Berserker. She can blow you on the article. Saber to blow through his noble phantasm with sheer power. Subsection B. It was just like a rainbow dagger, right? Like there was no flash of light before activating, no beam. Just stab! Now you're my servant! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You're really fixated on that dagger, huh? I bet you figured out a way to counter it and reverse steal Baber! Am I right? Um, no, just... Hey! What, what did you say about overpowering God Hand? Doesn't that allow for resurrection? How could you overpower that? Those resurrections would have to be powered by Ilya's mana on some level. A powerful enough attack fueled with a ridiculous amount of mana could blow through multiple or even all of his lives at once. I might actually owe Caster an apology then. So, Article 4? Article 4, she's going to take the church. Huh? She'll want to secure the locations where the Grail might manifest. She already has the primary location. She'll probably try to secure the other one. The Kotomine Church. So we should head there and rip out her beating heart. Then I can make a contract with Faber. And then maybe we'll even let that... Oh, okay, that's what Rin wants. <laughs> From the beginning of the series. As he wants Faber. The best possible timeline! Ah, <laughs> So you intend to keep Shiro around? Yeah, he's an idiot. But if he doesn't have a contract, then... I don't know. Don't you think that, uh... You know? No, I don't. Spell it out for me. <laughs> he's kind of not totally terrible. Sweet, even. In his own stupid way. He messed up big time. But he wanted to save everyone. As long as he doesn't let that get out of control, don't you think that sort of thinking is okay? You know what, Reen? I think there's some unfinished business I need to see to. What business? When I was summoned, I trashed your living room. I made a real mess of everything trying to squash a spider. I totaled the room, <laughs> but I didn't manage to kill it. I think it's time I, I stopped putting thing. things off and I finally killed that spider. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Then you kill that spider, Lucy Goosey. Tonight's a big night, assassin. Is it now? Remember when I told you, when you were summoned, that one day we'd have the means to leave this temple and free ourselves? There was more telling me to know my place, but I remember that general conversation. Tonight is that night. We shall liberate ourselves from Ryudo Temple and find a more secure base. We will no longer be bound here. Except you, of course. You've got to watch it in case, I don't know, bandits or something. How gracious of you to act like there was a choice made. Incidentally, I believe a master was spying on us. They were pretty stealthy, but I guess they forgot that there were servants where the servants were. <laughs> to be honest, I just killed it on instinct since it looked like a bird. I guess I have some strange bird PTSD I'll never resolve. In any case, <laughs> don't let me into the temple. Keep Uzukini safe at all costs. Or else. Or else what? You'll kill me? Surely you know I don't fear death. You'd be surprised what you can live through. Are we good? I believe we understand each other. I will guard the living hell out of these gates. You know, I bet regular humans never get the joy of knowing what this feels like. Isn't that a shame? What a special life I have. That I can experience my ribs being thrust open to <laughs> I am blessed. Yeah, he sounds so excited. How am I speaking? Excellent. Then I believe it's time. Let yeah, us that thing is so excited that about his final wounds. Heracles has fallen, and the grail is eternally in our possession. <laughs> Did you steal? Only the greatest of them all. Help? Emmius? Help! Oh my. Did you know little Shiro well? Shiro? Oh right. 
She's also Emia's servant. No, you said something. This is unprecedented, Caster. We're practically writing rules because you're breaking them at this point. Oh, how thoughtless of us lovers. We're inconveniencing the priest. Well, don't worry, Mr. Grail War Boy Scout. War Boy Scout. <laughs> Why in God's name would that be here? You do know that's been provided by the Eidensburns for the past four wars, don't you? <laughs> hey, now. When you've got a saber servant at your disposal, you don't have to do research. But you're saying that it's not here. Afraid so. Well, die then. <laughs> No, you said something. Goodness! I'm not tempted to let you live if you agree to let me watch you wrestle my master when I please. The pretty boy? Oh no, that one's dead. You'll get to see him shortly. You're getting one hell of a Grail War citation, Caster. Oh no! You gonna wipe me up? Have I been a bad girl, Mr. Priest? I feel just, just terrible about it. Oh, good grief. Everyone that Saber Servant touches becomes a thorn in my side. The caster who lived has returned. Oh, that's the dog. This priest once had ordered her burned. But now she's come back, she's on the attack. If he lives, that's one lesson learned. <sighs> oh, Saber. I had the most terrible dream. You were there. Then you weren't there. <laughs> oh, damn it! Yeah, that wasn't a dream. Uh, uh, Saber's gone and I got stabbed. Oh, why aren't I healing? Every time I've been almost killed since the war, I've just long rested my way to victory. Oh, damn it. Where's Reem? Where did... Oh, damn it, you betrayed me! Gotta find Reem. <laughs> figure out how to get Saber back. Hold on there, Tiger. Have you considered that you betrayed Saber's trust and Reem doesn't see you as an asset? Oh, is that so this you who don't have the right to talk to either of them. And now my insecure inner voice is Archer. Fantastic. And your dream is dumb. <laughs> We've got to stop meeting like this. And by like this, I mean... With everyone else dealing with my stupid mistakes! Why am I like this? Why couldn't I, for just one second, listen to Rain or Saber? Rain probably would have found a way to save Tyga! Archer was on his way! What in the world is my problem? Ah, you got there. Shut up, Intermittent <laughs> Archer! Rain! Rain, I found you! Finally! Alright, let's hear it. What hero speech do you have for me this time? You remember what we just talked about? Yeah, yeah, I know. Follow your lead. I know I screwed up. I'm sorry. I got in over my head, and I have no excuse. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You lost a servant, you lost a servant and almost got killed. I don't want you. I don't want you around. <laughs> You have no <laughs> to say that. Thanks for your permission, Thanks for your permission <laughs> Dad. I want to help Saber. Erin is following Anta's words. around you. Especially since I know you're the one that saved me that night at the school. Are you still here? Do you know how stupid you sound and or look right now? All right, that's enough of this. Shut up. Hey, how did you find out I saved you exactly? You left a red pendant there. I found one just like it when I woke up. Wait, they're talking about that panda now. Seen shortly afterwards? No, I've still got it. It saved my life. I don't think I'd ever let it out of my sight. So that confirms it. What? No, you said something. Come on, kick him out of the group house. What? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> she deserves better than what happened to her. <clears throat> so you come up here, apologize. Admit to rummaging through my things. Your only defense is that you owe me for saving you, which I've done a half a dozen times by this point. Collapse in front of me from a wound you got from one attack from Saber. And that's supposed to make me want your help to fight three servants with unlimited mana? Now, no, no. hold on. Any second now, my healing power is going to kick in and I'm going to be good as new. See? See, there it goes. Come on! Healing factor. 
<laughs> Maybe it doesn't work. This is uncomfortable. Please, use me as a decoy or something if, if you have to. I don't care. Why are you being like this? You know I can use projection magic. I, you know I can help. Why aren't you letting me try? Hey, Archer, can you give us a moment? Sure. Can I ask why? If you're going to kill him, I demand to be present. Just, <laughs> okay? Just get a few levels down. Bye bye, Archer. <laughs> I don't want your help. Because I don't want your help. Sorry, what was that second part? Because I don't want to die. There is a solid 30 feet between us. I can't hear <laughs> you saying. Because you're stupid and I like you and you'll be in the way and fuck you anyways. Oh! Got him so excited. Nothing. So what's the plan? We fuck up all the bitches for his sake. Oh, oh my God, that's not touching me, no breaks. If you wanted me to back off, that was the wrong topic to leave on. You know me better than that. And anyway, the way you acted when I brought this up. And the way Archer left just now, that timing was too coincidental. I understand what you're trying to tell me, Reen. I've been thinking it too. Sidebar, when I get Saber back, I need to start traveling like them. Damn, Reen's got style. I can remember that day. Oh my god. Is this the English translation of this illusion? <laughs> yeah, that's Gil and CG. And he's just laughing. Without saying anything. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video, which is Fate Stay Night Unlimited Networks A Bridge Episode 7. And it's been a while since I watched the previous uh, episode of uh, Unlimited Networks A Bridge and it's still very funny, especially about the part when Hatcher was ranting about spider in Rin's house. Okay, that's ridiculous, but it's so funny. And also at the end of this episode, that Sundere Rin A Bridge is really something. <laughs> She's so savage. But uh, she is being honest uh, with her feelings to Shiro, I think. And also I really love the background music and the soundtrack that they put in this video because uh, it's not only the soundtrack from Unlimited Bad Works but uh, also from the other Fate series. And uh, they also put uh, the English version of this illusion. I really miss that uh, song since Fate Stay Night 2006 because it's the first opening of Fate Stay Night uh, 2006 by Dean. And also, I'm glad that I can see Gil and Shinji at the end of this episode, even though they didn't say anything, but that means that uh, they're going to uh, continue uh, Fate Unlimited Bloodworks a bridge again. So thank you guys for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also support me on my Patreon. See you again on my next video. And take care.